Hello, friend, Mormo here, and I'm really excited to announce I've started a new business venture, and uh, it's making these collectible art cards, and you can see here's my first one, and it's already sold. Um, I sold it for 10 bucks, and I'm just going to put it in the envelope and peel back the strip i got good envelopes that i don't have to lick which is nice in this time of covid and uh i'm gonna walk it up to the mailbox now and drop it in the mail and uh I'm really excited about these um, artist trading cards. They're the size of a baseball card and you can um, sell them or trade them. I'm looking forward to trading some and to selling some and you can be like an art dealer and buy them, collect them, hold them, and then when the time is right, put them up for sale. For example, um, if you go on eBay and search ACEO cards or search artist trading cards, you'll see listings and they'll be like 30 listings all from the same um, artists. And so what you can do is buy one or one or two of their cards cheap and then just hold them until that artist isn't selling them on eBay anymore. And then um, you can put them up for sale and be the only one selling that particular artist at that time. And here we are at the top of the street. I'm gonna look both ways, go over to my mailbox. Here we go. Put the little flag up and it's mailed. I can hear somebody coming, but I'm gonna cross anyway. Yeah, so, anyways, I think these artist trading cards are gonna be a real fun business for me, and it's also therapeutic for me to work on an art project. Um, my caseworker was saying he thought it was a really good thing for me and was saying that he recommends like adult coloring books for people to do as therapy and uh so that's basically what i'm doing and uh right now i'm just selling them on social media on twitter facebook instagram and youtube and um because I'm only asking $10 a piece and that seems like an awful lot of work to set up an eBay page or an Etsy page just for 10 bucks and then they'll take all their fees and everything. You have to pay their fees and there's built-in traffic but I'm pretty sure that I can sell a handful of these just to people who are already know me and have followed me for years and stuff. 
I should be able to sell a few and then I can always do eBay or Etsy down the line. Well, anyways, keep watching. I'm going to eat a candy next. Okay, friends. So as you saw, I delivered my artist trading card in the mail that I sold. And now I'm going to have a uh, Hanuda. And I meant to look this up online. To see where it comes Frank. Oh, I think this must be German. I think maybe this is German, but I'm not sure. I meant to look it up online. But anyways, I'm going to open it on camera here. It looks like a wafer candy that has like hazelnut and chocolate inside. But I think it says there's two of them on the outside. Here's what it looks like. Oh wow, you can't see it on the green screen. But it's like a wafer with um, chocolate inside. Mmm. Oh wow, it's very good. It's delicious. I'm pretty proud to be an American and I love America and everything, but man, our chocolate sucks compared to foreign chocolate. Like, other countries do chocolate so much better than we do. I'm gonna eat the other half now. so good I guess it's got hazelnut and chocolate I, I can see little pieces of hazelnut and mixed in with the chocolate Heck yeah. So good, man. The foreign chocolate is just so good. And thanks so much for watching and keep an eye out for new artist trading cards. It's an awesome hobby and really fun to collect. So keep an eye out for new ones. Thanks so much.